Hi there, Tammy with Stampin' Savvy. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to learn about a fun technique that uses baby wipes and ink refills. I will give you a peek of a card that I made using this technique. See how variegated the colors are on the cross and on the flowers? That was made using this baby wipes technique. Let me show you how to do this. We're gonna need baby wipes. I happen to have Huggies in my house. Use whatever you have on hand. If you need to buy some, I recommended probably going with something unscented, um, just a really basic, inexpensive one, but use whatever you've got. We're going to need ink refills. I'm gonna be using the 2017 through 2019 in colors today. I like using the in colors simply because within themselves, they all mix and match really well. So it makes it easy. Um, they kind of make, Stampin' Up! makes, uh, has done the work for us. I'm gonna be using a block to work off of. This is gonna be um, the base of our stamp pad. You could also use a craft mat, like a silicone craft mat. I've even used the trays that come um, in the produce department. This is, I had my veggies from Trader Joe's in it. Anything that has a nice flat, stable back um, backing on it will work. For stamp sets, we're gonna be using the Lots of Love and Hold On to Hope today. What you're looking for is red rubber works the best, and you want images that have a large surface area. For instance, this cross, this floral image here, butterfly, even that little guy right there works really well. From the Lots of Love stamp set, we're gonna be using the flower and the leaves today, as well as this sentiment. But any of these images here also work really well. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead, oops, I'm sorry, we forgot the most important part, the glossy white cardstock. You can use the regular Whisper White for this technique, but you will not get the same amazing results. So I highly recommend the specialty cardstock. The gloss coating on this really makes the colors pop and really gives it an intense, really crisp look. This is what gives it the wow factor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead Take our block and we're gonna take one, one sheet of baby wipes out. I can get it out here. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fold it and oops, I tore that one. Let's not use that one. That might create an uneven surface. So don't do that. I'll be a little more gentle. Okay, so go ahead and take it out we're gonna go ahead and fold it in fours. Now, different brands I know are different size wipes. What you're really looking for is a area that's large enough to be able to fit whatever the largest stamp is that you're gonna be using. So in my case, it's that one, so that's plenty big. So one wipe folded in fours is gonna be fine for me. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take out our ink refills. And I'm gonna use the Powder Pink, the Berry Burst, and the Lemon Lime Twist. I think I'm gonna use those three. The fun creative part is that you get to kind of mix and match and use whatever colors you want to achieve different results. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just drop ink onto your baby wipe. And we're gonna try and fill this area in. And we're kind of just spreading it around. So you just kind of wanna fill in as you're going. Okay. And actually, I'm gonna take some of the fresh fig and I'm just gonna add a few in here. All right, more than a few. <laughs> but like I said, that's where the fun is, right? Okay, set that off to the side. Now, 
what I have done with my cardstock is I've gone ahead and I've already cut my layers for my cards. The reason that I've done this is because I want to show you lots of different options for this technique. You certainly could just use one of these techniques on a full sheet and then cut it afterwards. Totally up to you. But what I've done is I've gone ahead and cut my layers at four inches wide by five and a quarter. And I cut four of them. And then for these two, I just simply cut them in half again at two and five eighths. So I'm going to go ahead and stack these up just to give us a little more working room here. Okay. And for our first one, we're going to do the large layers. Let me bring that in. So we're going to use the floral image from the Hold On to Hope set. And because there's areas where the ink didn't merge together yet, you're going to want to kind of just mix, kind of pounce on that several times so that you make sure that you've got good coverage. It looks like it. And what we're going to do with this one is I'm just going to create a frame around the outside of this piece. And you can see that as I am kind of pouncing on it, see it's starting to fill in. It's kind of squishing together, so to speak. Okay, let's do one more right here. Okay, so let me give you a close-up of that. Isn't that pretty? So you can see all of the colors kind of variegated. Ooh, love it. Okay, we're going to set this aside to dry. It does take a few minutes to dry because of the glossy cardstock. Okay, we'll set that aside. All right, let's take another one of the large pieces. Nope, changed my mind. Let's do a smaller one. And this time we're going to do same set. This is the cross from the Hold On to Hope set. That looks good. One more. I'm going to just center that on there. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love that. I have so much fun doing this. I hope you will too. Okay, now we're going to switch to the stamps from the Lots of Love stamp set. So let's do the large one. And this is the flower image. Okay. And again, what I'm going to do is we're just going to create a of a frame around the outside of it. Let's do one more. Okay, that works. Okay, we'll set this one aside. See how pretty those are. Okay, so for this one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to stamp the sentiment, okay? And because this is pretty large, we want to kind of move this around, make sure we get really good on that, and that looks good. Perfect, look at that. That is lovely. Oh, yay! Okay, now I've got a couple of pieces here left. And this is, I'm just going to show you a couple of techniques, and this is really where you go crazy. But for the first one, what we're going to do is I'm going to fold it in half like this, and this is where your fingers get inky. We're going to take it and we're going to swipe it across. And I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to swipe it across. Now that's kind of cool, but not cool enough. So we're going to just keep doing that. I'm going to do it some more. Okay, and I'm going to do it some more. Now that's starting to look a little bit cooler. And the fun thing is you can just keep manipulating this. 
simply by just moving it around in different spots, you could make it look more like kind of marble-ish. See how that looks? You can just keep adding color to it, just keep moving it around, squiggle it, go straight, however you want to do that. But you can just keep playing with that. I'm going to go with that. I like that. But I want to show you one other thing that you can do. We're going to open it back up and this time I'm going to kind of draw the four edges along. So we create an area here and I'm going to just pounce on it. Kind of like a sponge. Okay, and you can do it, if you use a really light touch, you can do it where you leave lots of the white area, or you can go back and use a firmer touch and just keep going back over it and adding more and more of the color. You can also move your ink around a little bit and you'll get whoops see like I'm picking up a little bit more of the lemon lime twist here and dropping that in so you really just can manipulate and change this up as much as you want or if I wanted to go back and do a solid image over the pouncing then you can do that have lots of fun practicing with this. This little wipe and ink will take you a lot, a long way as far as you can keep using this for quite a long time. This will do, I mean, you could probably do the whole pack with just this, but it, it's just so much fun. Change up your colors, practice, see what you like working together. Um, it is just a lot of fun and gives you unique results each time that you do it. If you are interested in the supplies to, um, to do this technique, you can shop online through my website at stampinsavvy.com. I would love um, any comments that you've got, but I will be coming back with a second video to follow up and show you what to do with the layers that we've made today. We're going to make those into cards. So I encourage you to come back. If you would like to subscribe to my blog, you'll get an email notice when I post. So if you're interested in the follow-up, then you can again subscribe at stampinsavvy.com. But until next time, thanks for watching.